So for today, we're going to be looking at the Vanguard Dare armor for the Hunters. If you guys know, you already reviewed all of the armor. I still don't know what to name it, but they're both right here. Uh, the reviews right here and the shader video. We look at how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts, and then we look at all the shaders that I currently have, at least my favorite ones, because if I did all of them, it'd take forever. And yeah, we're going to be looking at the Vanguard Dare stuff for the Hunters. Like I said, I really like this set, but a lot of the sets that I made are very hunterish if that makes any sense so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor like comment sub really does help and other than that let's just look at some of the stuff so the first one is going to be the helmet we're going to be going from the helmet all the way down to the cloak which funnily enough this one is using the cloak and the helmet so vanguard dare cask and then the vanguard dare cloak for the arms, the Me Mechanic 1.1, and then for the chest piece, Intrepid Discovery Vest. For the exotic, we're going to be using the base look of Lucky Pants because obviously this is going for a Cage 6 inspired look. There is some better arms that you could use for the arms. It's just for me personally, I think this one's way better. There is another one that's a little bit better, the one from De Destiny 1. I think that one would be better just because it does have the shoulder pads that that Kate has it's just that's the only thing that looks nice and not only that Kate only has it on one side so for me I was like I'd rather just put something like the me mechanic 1.1 just because I like it aesthetically a little bit more and for the shader and we're actually using Kate's duds I don't know if this is available anymore but this is an old shader from Forsaken actually so yeah Clearly, I'm using this because this is seriously a Cade inspired look and I really like it. I would probably just switch out, honestly, the arms for something else because I think everything else is pretty dope. But if you did want an exotic in here, I think Lucky Pants is your best choice just because these are exotic. This, like, this is an exotic that Cade wore. It's like if you read the lore for it, you can. He, he like dabbled with the Lucky Pants to make it like what? give you more chance to crit or something like that either way it's a funny story let me know what you guys think about him as for the next set we're going to be using knucklehead radar for the exotic and for the vanguard dare stuff we're going to be using the arms for the chest piece prodigal vest for the boots tm erp custom chaps and then for the cloak the Ne neoteric kiyak cloak so like i was saying this is your like your typical hunter i personally like it when a hunter like aesthetic so for me like the vanguard dare grips and the prodigal vest are like typical hunter like esque look and then when you combine that with a cowboy look for me that's just like instant classic hunter look because hunters have that like cowboy aesthetics almost so that's why i really like it the neoteric yacht cloak honestly uh the the uh scarf i really really like the fur i really like the fact that the cloak in the back is like combined with different cloaks i also think is really cool and honestly the one weird one is just the fact that i'm using knucklehead radar without the ornament i just honestly the main reason is because i like the fact that the shader we're using gamekeeper it has a lot of blues and browns specifically browns and the red line on the side goes well with the glow of the uh the knucklehead so it's like little things here and there but i really really like this set definitely a good one i don't know if it's my favorite because we still haven't seen the two after this one but so far i really like this next one's gonna be the vanguard dare vest and i'm gonna be honest with you guys i am not a big fan of this look just because i had some problems with this one let's just say that so for the helmet we're gonna be using faux tracer with the war painted ornament for the arms, the Luke's, uh, Luke L Lux sleeves, chest piece obviously is Vanguard. Um, the boots is gonna be the Limitless Subversion strides. I think this is where it gets kind of like muddy. And then for the cloak, we're gonna be using the Dynamo Current cloak. For the shadering, we're gonna be using Valkyrie Zero for everything but the cloak because Valkyrie Zero, it's really hard to find that black and red for a, for a class item specifically. So for me, I was just like, fuck it, we'll just go for Super Black because Super Black will just make it all black so i think my problem with this one is i don't think the chest piece matches the boots or vice versa i don't, I don't think the boots matches the vest at all the only reason i use it is because it was the best choice that i had if i'm being honest the only reason i chose valkyrie zero is because i really like that red um but the only pieces i really like from this set is probably the lux sleeves with the vanguard dare vest 
Um, I would probably switch out the cloak and the boots. Those th those two are the only pieces where I'm like, I'm not the biggest fan of them. Specifically, the boots are pretty terrible. But again, I'm just more combining it with Valkyrie Zero so that way I can have that black and red because I really like Valkyrie Zero's black and red. But I would probably just go back to the drawing board with this one. To be fair, this chess piece is pretty rough to use considering not only does that red piece on the right side of the chess piece does not change color, but then the bandages, I guess, on the shoulder or the... Yeah, the shoulders doesn't change color, which is very unfortunate. So yeah, I would just go back to the drawing board with this one and probably not use Valkyrie Zero because right now I'm really just trying to make it work and it's not working. So this one is definitely the L of the group. And last but not least, we have the Vanguard Dare Boots. And this one is super, super cool. I actually really like this set. So let's talk about the exotic Knucklehead Radar again with the nine day slash nights ornament. For the arms, we're going to be using the sweet or street wise grips, Lux vest for the chest piece, Vanguard Dare boots for the boots, obviously, and then Litmus Submersion cloak for the cloak. So I really like this set because it's just one co coherent color. Sato Tribe for the cloth is going to give you that like really dark gray, and then Refurbished Black Armory is going to give you that same gray, but for pl for plate armor essentially. So. I actually like this one. I would probably so here's the here's the reason why I'm using Sato Tribe. Sato Tribe specifically because it doesn't matter. Well, I should say it usually does not matter what you're wearing for cloth. It'll just combine it into this dark gray. That being said, there is an off color to it that it'll it's like a dark blue. You can actually see it on the belt. That is the off color for cloth, but usually you don't see it. And the reason I'm going for that is because Streetwise Grips goes against the Lux Vest and the Vanguard Dare Grips. So if you're wondering why I went with this look, it's because A, I actually think it looks cool, but B, because Streetwise Grips takes a different color than everything else. So if you have a shader that just combines all the cloth into one, you're definitely going to want to use that. But I think this this is pretty good. I don't think this is the best one, honestly. I, I'm kind of struck between the second one and... The second and last one, honestly, I like the Cade one. It's just the fact that we will never have like a one-to-one -to, -one to all of his pieces, which is fair, I guess. So it's always going to be like an inspired look for said guardian. Not saying it's bad. I think it's pretty, pretty cool. I would probably switch out Cade's duds for the helmet and something else, probably another brown. So that way it's not because the colors do clash a little bit, but I do like the last one quite a bit. That being said, I think the second set i just think is better uh honestly it just for me gives off that like i'm a hunter main vibe so hunters let me know what you guys think titans warlocks you guys will be getting your video soon hopefully we'll be done with this uh with these armor sets before the end of the week and then i'll see if i want to do the last armor review because again that one got sold already and I still don't know if I want to do it. Not only that, it kind of gives me some time to actually grind some of the things that I haven't grinded yet, specifically like weapons, titles, other stuff. Not only that, Pantheon week four will most likely be going up later the week in the week because we completed everything up until Riven. Uh, we cheesed we cheesed what's his face because fuck him, and we're at Riven right now, so hopefully we can do Riven and then after Riven I think Nezrak's gonna be a cakewalk that being said since we're under 20 I don't know if it's gonna be as bad as it was in day one but we'll see let me know what you guys think I appreciate y'all remember if you guys want to see some content let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see I do have some people that have commented and I'm working on those videos it's just that this is the last two weeks of this season and I'm trying to juggle between finishing some of those the, some of the things I want to finish and making those videos if I don't make those videos by the end of the season, I will most likely do it after everything I've done for the next expansion. So like armor reviews, basically really just armor reviews, exotic reviews, um, exotic ornament reviews as well, the Eververse ornament. So the, yeah, I have quite a bit of things that I'm gonna be doing, but I have all of your lists, all of the things that people have said on a list and I will do those eventually. So don't think I've forgotten. It's just, again, I'm busy. So let me know what you guys are on top of me having a full-time job as well. So, you know, bear with me. Um, I'm trying my best. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.